Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back to Grace Blossoms for You. Today I want to make some clusters. And not just any clusters. But I want to make triangular based clusters. So I have some triangles here. But I've got some more in the making. Some are big. I think I'm going to cut these down. And I've got the border on here. These document um, papers that I'm working with here are from Tina at Shabby Dabby Duda. Got them on her um, Etsy shop, I think it was. Yeah. My printer does not print borderless, so sometimes trimming is necessary. And I'm not saying these are perfect triangles, but they're interesting to work with. Okay, so the ones I had, I had left over from another project. Yeah, so different sizes are fine. Different designs are fine too. Okay, so that's what we have to work with. Then I think what I'm gonna do is ink all these up and then I'll be back. Okay, I inked them all up and I added some book page that had some um, gold doodles on them. I thought they might be fun for um, an accent of gold. Little pop of something shiny. All right, so then, triangles. I'm going to probably do them in groups of three. Something like that. It's going to be, and I'm not saying I came up with this idea, I just have these, um, things that need using up, so I'm going to do something like that and then maybe grab a focal point like a, I don't know, a fussy cut maybe, could be a label, could be both. Let's grab a few here. Too big. The boots are kind of nice. And then that one because it says be kind on it. And I think we want to be kind and not step on people. <laughs> it's funny how these things work in my head. They're all connected. Something like that, but it needs something soft yet. Lace doesn't want to be on top or doesn't want to be on the bottom. Something like that. that there for now. I'm liking this little formula here. Document something with gold and then something different. And then it needs, I don't know, do they all need that lace or do they need some other lace here as well? Let's try this one. 
Maybe a rose. I like it, but I might need to trim this. Oh, there's already a rose on there. Maybe that's why I was thinking rose. Well, that works, I think. I do want that popping out a bit more. Something like that. And then we can do another label. There, love. Another little gift I got from my sister, which was the labels. Like that. I'm going to glue them all at the end just to save some time here. Okay. I want the bigger. And then let's see what lace do I want for this one. I think I want to do like a perfume bottle or something. I think the perfume bottles I got from that uh, Facebook group. Well, it was one of two places. I, I know I downloaded from two places. One was Creative Fabrica and one was Fussy Cut Freebies on Facebook. But I can't recall which ones these are right now. And I didn't really want a pink one. And I'm not loving that shape right there. Maybe this one, it's got a little bit more. It's got a little bit of blue. That's, I think, better. Okay. So then, with the lace, my lace pieces are getting bigger. <laughs> I don't know why. Now, what would be a good label for that. Choose Joy. Except I need my gold to stick a little more here. Like that. I'm gonna give this one a bit of a fancy trim here. My handy dandy special scissors. Not too sharp. I did get them at the thrift store, so. Something like that. The perfume reminds me of that verse, we are the fragrance of Christ. A bad smell to those who are dying and perishing, who reject him. And a, fra a fragrance that um, is welcoming to the Father if we have chosen to follow him. The incense wafts up to him. Okay, so that will be a third one. I've got one more gold piece. Kind of a document. Do I dare with the polka dots? 
or do I want my music sheet? I was actually thinking of cutting up music sheet for this as well, but I didn't. I managed to stay away from it for now. All right, I'm gonna go for this one again. I don't know, over there it looks kind of like eyes, so I'll turn it this way. I do tend to cut out a lot of flowers for fussy cuts. But I also have other things. Oh, got some new ones too. How's this? Honey. Honey, that reminds me. I need a blank label for this one. And look, I found one. It's part of a song. Um, part of it went, his na your, your name is like honey on my lips. And it was a worship song to Jesus. So I thought that was rather fitting. Okay, so the lace. Focal point, the label. Put that on top. There, that's four of them. I'm basically just running out of room, so I will glue these and then see if I want to make more. Alright, so this is a little tricky part where to put the glue. Kind of easier in my thinking to lift up the layers that haven't been glued yet. Okay. The lace is just going to get sandwiched in there anyway, so. I think there. And then this one is getting sandwiched. Something like that. Might have to add a little more after. Well, I hope you're doing well. Staying out of trouble. Sometimes that's easier said than done. Sandwich this one too. Okay, didn't quite get that where I wanted. That's going to take a little bit to dry. But these will make nice tuck spots. And they'll also I don't know, I think because they have like the triangle in them, if you had the point exposed, it could point to something on your page. So there's that idea. Yeah, 
Not a whole lot to chat about with this one. That's right, it looked like the eyes. Sometimes when I go to stick them down on the page, I just check the back to make sure that it's got sufficient glue on there that it's not gonna flap around all over the place. All right, one more. My glue bottle is getting light, which means it's getting time to refill it. I don't know, I kind of wanted it in behind the lace there. Okay, so that's four. No more gold. Have to come up with something. This is a good scrap buster though. I must say. Okay, that just looks awkward because they're so different in sizes. Or did I just have it the wrong, <laughs> I, mean, I just had it the wrong um, direction. Well, maybe I'll try that direction. I don't know. All of a sudden, I don't know. I think because the music paper or the um, the book page ones were a different size also. See, I had this book that I started marking in and there's some more gold. I mean, I can't think of a better way to use these up, really. I'm just going to trim this. Cut that in half. And then just make the triangles. And then I'll have some more gold again. How fun is that? Okay. <laughs> For some reason, this is not done. Um, Gosh, I think I must have done them the other direction before. Okay, never mind. What else? How about a bird? Needs inking. Little black cap chickadee. And of course, some lace. Does anybody else do this? You buy lace and then you start to use it and then you think you need more lace. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start with a little askew here. And the label. Okay, I'm going to put this one in because I want to 
explain what it means again. Grace Blossoms for You is the, the name the Father gave me for this channel. And it's because of the good news, the gospel, that Jesus died for us. He died for our sins. He paid for our sins so that we wouldn't have to. Because we can't. We, we couldn't if we even wanted to. Jesus had to come down and do it on our behalf. And that makes him our advocate. It makes him our redeemer. So because he did that, if we accept what he did in order to get to heaven and to be with the Father in him for all eternity, that puts us in his debt, rightly so. And then he is our redeemer and he has purchased us with his blood. Then... If we walk with him, we will grow to be like him. And as we grow to be like him, we press in to what he's done for us. So his grace, which enables us to do what he's called us to do, that is called leaning on his grace. And the more you lean on his grace, the more his grace blossoms for you. And that is how I got the name Grace Blossoms for you. It's a reminder to me and to anyone who hears it to press in. Okay, I think that is the perfect last one. All right, let's see all the ones we made today. I got a few left, but that's okay. We can do that again another time maybe, or maybe I'll do them off camera. So do me a favor and put in the comments, where do you get your favorite fussy cuts from? Because, you know, you can never have too many, right? Okay, so that one is last and now it's first. So yeah, they're quite large, but that's okay because sometimes you want something bigger. Smaller clusters are nice too, but these, these are not them. All right, so that's it. We made five and that's interesting because five is the number of grace in Hebrew. So how cool is that? Anyways, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.